Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at how to create a Microsoft account. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this link here called account.microsoft.com, and this will take you to this page here. And if you don't already have a Microsoft account, you want to navigate to this button here and click on Create Account. So this is the page where you create your Microsoft account. Here is where you'd enter in your email you want to register with. Let's go with this one, ExamPro001 at Gmail. Come. And it'll ask you to create a password, so let's enter that in here very quickly. You'll have to enter in the country you're from, as well as your date of birth, so the usual things for registrations. You'll get a verification code for the email you registered with, and you'll have to confirm it to complete the process. I have the email account already open, so I can get the code here 8802. Copy and paste the code into the verification. You can choose to receive information, tips, and offers about Microsoft products and services if you're interested. Looks like we have to go through this puzzle to prove we're not a bot, so we'll go through this very quickly. Okay, great. You've now created your Microsoft account. So once you have your account created, you can try Microsoft 365 for free, or you can buy a subscription. Some of you may already have Microsoft 365. It could be provided by your company or other sources. You can go to this link here called microsoft.com slash en dash ca slash microsoft dash 365 slash microsoft dash 365 dash business dash standard dash one dash month dash trial to try Microsoft 365 for free. For the purpose of the demonstration, we'll sign up for the Microsoft 365 business standard trial for one month. First, we need to provide our email address, so let's enter that in here, example 001 at gmail, come. Then we need to set up our account, so we need to provide our name, surname, business phone number, company name, company size, etc. It should be fine if you don't have one, or you may come up with something. Then we'll need to perform the verification code process again. Enter in the numbers you got from your phone number. You can choose to create a new business email later or create a new business email with a Microsoft domain. We'll need to create a new business email with a Microsoft domain. Let's go with Andrew Brown at example001.onmicrosoft.com and enter in the password you want. This is important because this will be how you'll sign in. This is not your email like example001 at gmail.com. The next part is the payment process, so we'll need to enter in the information required. You won't be charged at all if you cancel before one month. After this process, you'll need to log in with the new business email we created earlier, so Andrew Brown at example 001onmicrosoftcom Enter in the password. So now we're currently at the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. You can install the latest Office apps here such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, Teams, OneDrive, and so much more. Microsoft 365 has a ton of services and apps that will improve your productivity and collaboration within your organization. It has many analytical capabilities, and its security is world class. We'll be covering all these services and features in greater detail throughout the entire course.